Johnny Depp. Narcissist or Empath. Part 9. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. We now consider our analysis of Johnny Depp, continuing with evidence concerning his relationship with his children. Johnny Depp first donned the pirate costume of Captain Jack Sparrow in 2003 and kicked off a highly lucrative venture in Disney's Pirate of the Caribbean franchise. Depp got creative with his inspiration and said he fashioned Sparrow off of the Rolling Stones legend Keith Richards. I sort of thought that pirates would be the rock and roll stars of the 18th century, you know, he once said. Then, you think of rock and roll stars, the greatest rock and roll star of all time, the coolest rock and roll star of all time, in my opinion, is Keith Richards, hand down. It's clear that Depp had fun fleshing out Sparrow's character, and he made significant money while he was at it, with an estimated $55 million banked to the third film alone. Apparently, the biggest motivation of all in doing Pirates of the Caribbean was his children, as Depp told Vanity Fair that the films were all for the kiddies. Lily Rose and Jack Depp have been in his larger motivation in his entire career. I'm just an actor, and if I can leave something behind that my kids will be proud of, then that's what I want, Depp said to the Daily Telegraph in 2009. I don't want my kids to be embarrassed by anything I've done. Well, although that's the stated intention, his actions that have followed his behaviour might create a different sensation than the one that he wanted in his children. Might it be that he knows what to say, but is incapable of delivering? Depp later spoke with CBS this morning on the challenges of navigating a breakup when kids are involved. He said, When you have children, there is no room for lies, no room for anything but the truth. Anything other than that is a bad example, I believe. Demonstration of cognitive empathy or emotional empathy. Depp went on to share his Anne Paradis strategy as co-parents, which came down to nothing more than being honest with their two children. We were just very truthful with Lily Rose and Jack, and they were just incredibly understanding, incredibly accepting, Depp explained. I was extremely proud of them, the way they dealt with it. For Depp, watching his children grow up was a disarming experience, especially daughter Lily Rose, who has become famous in her own right. It's such a funny thing when you see your daughter transitioning from your baby, your little girl, to suddenly being a young woman, Depp said. He went on to talk about how quickly she grew up and marvelled at how similar her path was to that of her mother's, Vanessa Paradis. Karl Lagerfeld discovered them both, though since Lily Rose had such famous parents, discover may well be the wrong term for her. Nevertheless, he capitalised on her charm as a Chanel ambassador, but Lily Rose tapping into glam and looking every inch a model was jarring for Depp. When I see her with makeup and all that stuff, it's really disturbing, because she's a very beautiful girl, and it's all happening so fast, Depp said, adding that he'll never not be concerned about her. Is this the reaction of a proud and concerned father, exhibiting his compassion, his caring, emotional empathy, those empathic traits for his daughter? Or again, is this an individual who knows what to say, who knows how he should behave, but doesn't deliver, given many of the behaviours that have been described and which are yet to come? While Depp noted that his kids are on the right track in life, his own wild past gave him reason to be worried. He said, You know you start getting hit with some very interesting situations in life. You, as a parent when they approach that teenage era, which is frightening because you still have memories of that age and the things you were doing at that age, 
Please don't do what I did. When Depp started dating Amber Heard, after splitting from Vanessa Paradis, his kids initially navigated the new relationship easily. In 2013, the new couple went to Tokyo with Lily Rose and Jack Depp, according to US Weekly, in what looked like a relaxing family vacation. In one photograph, Heard put her arm around Jack's shoulder, assertion of control through physical action. However, as her relationship with Johnny progressed, it appeared that Heard's relationship with his children deteriorated, especially with Lily Rose. When they married in 2015 on his island in the Bahamas, Lily Rose was conspicuously absent. Years later, when Johnny was in court for his defamation lawsuit against Heard, he brought up Lily Rose's decision to opt out of the wedding, stating, My daughter Lily Rose did not come to the wedding. She and Ms. Heard were not on particularly great terms for several reasons. So far, a picture's painted of a caring, protective, compassionate father. An individual who appears to have recognised that he's made mistakes and he doesn't want them replicated by his children. This does tend to suggest emotional empathy. Then again, might it just be the case that he knows quite well what to state, how to look, but doesn't deliver when it comes to his own performance? Perhaps looking more at the reactions of those around him than Depp himself will prove even more valuable in terms of making an assessment of him. When Heard's allegations of abuse initially aired, Lily Rose jumped on Instagram to defend her father and posted a throwback photo of the two of them. My dad is the sweetest, most loving person I know. He's been nothing but a wonderful father to my little brother and I, and everyone who knows him would say the same, she wrote. Coming to the defence of her father in such a way suggests that his conduct towards her and her brother is one whereby he has treated them well. Remember, of course, some narcissists can treat their children well, and it's the other people in their lives, notably the intimate partner primary source that suffers. But this is certainly compelling evidence that demonstrates an absence of abusive behaviour from Depp towards his children, which prima facie would support the existence of emotional empathy. Depp testified in court that Lily Rose and Jack apparently disliked Heard much earlier than when their father saw problems in the relationship. My kids are far more intelligent than I am, he said. They refuse to be around her. My girl is the truth, Depp explained during his 2022 testimony, claiming that there was no truth to Heard's claims of abuse. There were arguments and things of that nature, but never did myself reach the point of striking Ms. Heard in any way, nor have I struck anyone in my life, he added. But though the evidence of bar brawls and other testimony that is provided tends to suggest that he, saying he's not struck anybody in his life is not entirely accurate. Is this a clear lie, or is it simply an inability to recall what has occurred? Importantly, Depp stated, It was my responsibility to not only clear my name, I wanted to clear my children of this horrid thing they had to read about their father that was untrue. I don't deserve this. Neither my children nor the people have loved me all these years. Expression of emotional empathy or facade management. His children came up several times during the court case, and in one instance Heard spoke about how fond she was of Lily Rose and Jack Depp. I found them to be these beautiful, wildly intelligent little weirdos in the best way, you know. They were, I was falling in love with them, she said while testifying. Of course, describing them as little weirdos belies a lack of emotional empathy on her part, commensurate, of course, with her status. When his dad tied the knot with Amber Heard, Jack was only 13 years old. At the time, Amber suggested that she had a great relationship with Jack and his sister Lily Rose, gushing about being their stepmom during an interview with Marie Claire in 2015. She described her relationship with Johnny's kids as an honour and the greatest, most surprising gift I have ever received in my life. I feel new flavours that I didn't know existed, new colours that I didn't know existed have been added to my life. I am so happy. The typical gushing, over-the-top flattery of a narcissist. 
In contrast, Depp would later describe his kids' relationship with Amber as non-existence during an April 2022 testimony in court. While Johnny didn't say the same of his son with regard to explaining that his daughter was not on good terms with Amber, it's quite possible that things were similarly strained between Jack and his former stepmother before her split from Depp. Depp's son lives an extremely private life, and as such has never commented on Heard's allegations or his father's trial. Throughout the years, Depp has painted a solid picture of his relationship with his son. In 2014, Depp stated, My boy Jack has always been a very talented draftsman. He draws really super well. He also plays music very well. He's got a good feel for that. Aside from school plays and things, he hasn't shown any desire to become an actor. Few. While Jack isn't following in his father's footsteps as an actor, he does share some other similarities with his father. The France native for one bears a striking resemblance to Depp. He also seems to have a not-so-lucky track record of being a bad driver. In 2015, Depp couldn't help but laugh about his son getting behind the wheel. He has my instincts, my boy, and he's crashed about five golf carts, Depp joked. For what it's worth, however, Depp was only thir- Jack Depp was only 13 at the time. Following Heard's allegations, becoming public in 2018, Depp expressed sympathy for his son for having to deal with the public scrutiny over her claims. I'm sure it wasn't easy for my 14-year-old boy to go to school, you know what I mean, Depp told GQ in 2018, with people going, hey, look at this magazine, man, what, your dad beats up chicks or something? Why did you have to go through that? Why did my daughter have to go through that? Expressing such curse and concern does smack of emotional empathy, or might it also be facade management? Depp continued to express his desire to protect his son and daughter from criticism throughout the years. At the start of his defamation trial in April 2022, the actor shared that he felt the need to clear the record for the sake of his kids. It was a complete shock, Depp said of Heard's allegations. It just didn't need to go in that direction, as nothing of the kind had ever happened. In the relationship, there were arguments and things of that nature but never did I reach the point of striking Miss Heard in any way, nor have I struck any woman in my life. Certainly that comment about striking any woman in his life appears to be borne out by the evidence that has been accumulated with regard to his other relationships. Depp continued, The news of her accusations has sort of permeated the industry and then made its way through media and social media, became quite a global, let's say, in inverted commas, fact, if you will. Since I knew that there was no truth to it whatsoever, I felt it my responsibility to stand up. Not only for myself in that instance, but stand up for my children. I wanted to clear my children of this horrid thing that they were having to read about their father, which was untrue. Jack Depp has remained silent about his father, maintaining privacy. That doesn't suggest that there's something unpleasant to talk about, but merely that he doesn't talk about his life, nor that of his father. The evidence there certainly shows a daughter who thinks very highly of her father, which is instructive, and that Depp demonstrates a protectiveness, a compassion and a care for his children. Whether this is based upon genuine emotional empathy or potentially his cognitive empathy remains to be seen. The evidence accumulates, and as you can see, it can still lead in both directions, but you should now be building a particular picture, solidifying key points of evidence. We now turn to another aspect, moving away from family and relationships, as, in the next part, we examine the philanthropy of Johnny Depp. <laughs>